Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast with a review of What If Season 2, Episode 1, What If Nebula Join the Noble Corpse. Uh, so they're going to be releasing these one a day. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with the reviews, but you know what? We're going to give it a good old try. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about all the episodes of What If Season 2. Now in this one, Nebula sets out to prove her detective chops when she's recruited to the join the Nova Course. Uh, this stars Jeffrey Wright as the voice of Uatu the Watcher. I guess he's just the Watcher. We don't know that he is Uatu. Uh, Karen Gillan returns as Nebula. Jude Law as Yon Rog. Michael Rooker as Yondu. Seth Green as Howard the Duck. And Taika Waititi as Korg. So I really appreciate of in these what, if, what ifs is that uh, Marvel's just like, hey, come back, do something, you know? Come back and let's use this character that we only use once or let's use this character that's no longer around. Uh, let's kind of put them back to work. So I really like that. Um, this is, for all intents and purposes, this is a cosmic MCU tale that is very much giving Blade Runner. And I think a lot of people talked about that. Uh, you know, Nebula pretty much kind of fills the role of uh, Deckard or Agent K or whatever version of Blade Runner you've seen. Uh, but I also think, and people aren't really talking about this, I think Karen Gillan also really kind of channeling her inner dread, uh, as in Judge Dread, uh, specifically the Carl Urban version. Like, uh, there's a lot of narration going on. And, and in a hard-boiled detective story like this, there's always narration from the main character or the protagonist as they kind of go through the underbelly of the city. Uh, and they really capture that visually. This looks very much like that, very distinctive to a lot of the other stuff that we've seen, both in the MCU live action and in the What If series. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, I think uh, the story is a little bit predictable kind of by the numbers there's not a lot of time to expand on this the episode's about it's kind of done in less than 30 minutes which most of these are going to be done like that anyways uh but it doesn't suffer from pacing issues i just think they had to keep the story simple enough to make sure that we would get through the full narrative in 30 minutes uh, i don't think that's a downside i just think it's something to be noted for uh when doing a review so yeah fun performances for sure really interesting set of characters uh and i really like the visuals as i mentioned so Overall, this is not a it's not a bad episode of What If. Uh, I think it's a strong start to season two. So we'll see what the other ones hold in store. Uh, so I'll be doing more of these. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll be talking more about this. Uh, you know, the length of the video will depend on how the how many implications uh, have some of these have for the larger MCU, if any at all. Uh, but for the most part, these seem to be pretty standalone until they're not maybe at the end of the season, kind of like last time. So interesting enough, we still have a Gamora episode like some floating around there that hasn't come out. Maybe we'll get it this season. I haven't looked at all the names of the episodes just to kind of not try to spoil myself. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll keep covering What If Season 2. So if you have seen this episode, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.